Uh, my name's Kelly. My name's Alder. And we live here at the Community Arts Center and we really, really miss you guys and wanted to do an art project with you uh, to do something that you could do at home and maybe think of us. So um, let's do it. Um, do you want to start? You want to tell them what it's called that we're going to do today? It's called Flower Printing. It also has another cool name. Um, it's a Japanese uh, word called Hapa Zome. And like Alder said, it's something that we make by hammering onto flowers. So um, first we need to go pick some flowers. So what do you say? Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're here uh, in our garden. It's right in front of our, our cottage where we live, which is um, just uh, coming down towards the children's play studio and the art start um, room. So y'all might be familiar with where we are. Um, we're gonna pick a couple flowers from here. Um, and we just wanted to um, make sure that it was okay for us to pick these flowers. Um, so Austin, is it okay if we pick these flowers? Is it okay? Yes, for this for this uh, art project, it is okay. Okay. <laughs> so always make sure you check uh, that it's okay to pick the flowers you're picking. Um, so we're going to start, Alder's going to cut a couple flowers. So the first one we're going to get is this one here. And it's called Rose Campion and it really makes a beautiful color um so go ahead and cut a couple of these ones here buddy snip um and also you know when you're cutting with scissors you always want to make sure that you're doing it safely so we want to get the nice um the nice blooms maybe one more we also don't want to be greedy, so we want to also leave some for the for the insects, right? And mm -hmm. the hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're gonna. Um, okay, we'll cut some of these. So go ahead and s you can probably just snip off. Okay. Snip. Okay, maybe one more. Or how about from a different plant, so we don't take them all from the same. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, just go cut some of those. Yeah, let's cut some of these. Okay, so go ahead and grab some of those, and I'm going to just um, pick some ferns here, too. Okay, you can get those in my hand. I'll hold them. <laughs> All right, um, we're going to walk around a little bit more and get a few more things and then um, take them back to our table. <laughs> so we're back here at our table and um, I wanted to go over what kind of supplies we need for Hapa Zome. It's really simple besides um, flowers obviously. Uh, you need to have something to print onto. And today we're going to be just using this piece of fabric. Um, and I'm going to show you what to do that with that in a second. Scissors. Hammers. And you can use all different kinds of hammers. You can even use a rock for this. But I got out a small child size hammer, a large hammer, and two different kinds of mallets. And you can just play around, use whatever you have, really. Um, and then you also want to have like a a piece of paper, a piece of parchment, a piece of newspaper underneath where you're working. Um, and you also want to do it on a table that is like a work table or a surface that um, it, it's not going to be a big deal if you hammer onto it. You really don't want to do it on your mom's dining room table. That's probably not <laughs> a good spot for it. Um, so that's all you need. And then today, because we're going to be using fabric, um, we, we need to prepare the fabric before we do the hapazome, so the pigment from the flowers actually sticks to the fabric. And what I'm going to be using for that is the same stuff that you used um, to soak your t-shirt in before you tie-dye. 
Um, so you should have some in your in your um, in your kit, and um, so you can just use use it again. It's called soda ash. So if you have started your T-shirt, you can just like throw in some extra fabric. You can even do hapazome on a T-shirt if you want to try that too. That might be fun. So you just throw. I have it in my bucket. Rinse it around. And you want to squeeze out all the excess water as much as you can. And now I'm going to just spread out the piece of fabric onto our paper here. Or onto, yeah, onto our surface. And, and then you can put some flowers on there. Right. So, um, all there, I'm going to let you do all the flower part of it. So what, we, what we're going to do is um, Alder's going to lay out all the different flowers and leaves that on, we chose. On half of the piece of fabric, only half, because it, it will show the print on the other side of the piece of paper, like a copy. Exactly. So we're going to put our flowers on one side, fold the paper, or fold the fabric over on top, and then when we hammer it, it's going to print on both sides, and when we open it up, it's a surprise. It's going to be a beautiful surprise, right? Cool. Okay, so go for it. So remember, these worked really well. We found that, um, remember, keep it on top. Um, we found that hosta uh, blooms worked really, really well. And um, rose campion worked really well. Um, the the yellow daylily leaves worked really well. So you're gonna fold it this way, huh? Okay. Um, also, this flower, which is called Monarda or bee balm, these worked really well too. And I like to take the little blooms apart. Here, I'll pick these apart for you. So you could use these as like little sprinkles. work good too. You make a beautiful design. <laughs> so with the rose campion, I would recommend taking the petals off of the stem. The stems don't really do much. It's the bright pink. That yeah, bright pink that does the magic. Do you think they're going to be surprised when they see what happens? Pretty good. So I'm gonna hold these flat. You go ahead and fold corner to corner. Yep. Right like that. Great. No, so no. we're going to also fold this paper over too. And then you just gotta get your hammer ready. And then you get and your hammer ready. Yep. Okay, and now when you're using a hammer. You should just not swing it real back. Just... Yeah, so don't swing it really far back. And also, you should be careful of your hands and your fingers. Okay. Don't put your hand like that. So, why don't you start with one of the mallets? Yeah, you always need to start with some mallet. And then if you want to do a hammer, you can do a hammer off of your pen. No, all you do is you just start pounding. work your way over here instead of doing it all over so you can make sure that you hit all of the
more. So what I like to do is uh, check it and make sure that the, the colors are coming through. Uh, that one's actually kind of cool. Yeah, let's hit it. hammer a little bit more but what I want you guys to notice is how the colors changed Wow look at that how that left that beautiful print so you'll notice that anywhere where there was like a purple or a pink flower it turned like blue turquoise. blue and turquoise um, and that has to do with the soda ash so the soda ash um, there's some kind of chemical reaction that happens that turns the color. So pretty amazing. So at this point, you're going to want to pick off the plants and then let it dry. And when it dries all the way, you'll be able to brush off the rest of the plants and you have your, your beautiful Hapazome prints. It's awesome. <laughs> want to hold it up? Ooh, <laughs> <laughs>